welcome everyone. And during this time, feel free, it's very informal, feel free to get up, get, uh, help yourself to more refreshments, and, but just welcome. Today we give special recognition to seven individuals who are retiring after serving our students and parents of our community for many years. Of those seven, four are able to be with us today. And later on in the program, they'll have an opportunity to come up and say a few comments and so on. But at this time, I'd just like to introduce those four that are able to be with us today. <clears throat> Peter Chichak from the high school, teacher, 28 years. Lois Johnson, executive assistant to the district administrator, 38 years. Roger Saxton, transportation supervisor for 15 years. And Judith Walker, educational assistant at Prairie View, six years. So just thrilled to have all four of you with us today. Those unable to be with us today, Deborah Richardson, teacher at Viking, 19 years. Unja Varnum, educational assistant, Evergreen, 40 years. And Nancy Waldenberger, food service, Evergreen, 29 years. If you add all those up, my math uh, came up around 175 years of total service. So congratulations to all of you and thank you so much. I would like to introduce uh, members of our Board of Education that are here with us today. Our Board President, Cheryl Hancock, welcome. Thank you for being here. And also Kate Mayer, our Board Clerk. So thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules and be with us today. At this time, I am going to invite Cheryl up front to uh, welcome and offer any additional comments. Well, on behalf of the Board of Education and members of the, the school district, I just want to thank and acknowledge the impact that those who are retiring today had on thousands of students, whether they were in transportation or an educational assistant or a teacher right in the classroom, they impacted the lives of thousands of students. And thank you, thank you, thank you for the positive impact that you did um, have on them. Just know that you enrich their lives and you enrich the lives of those who worked with you by being here, by having a positive attitude and by the work that you did. You also enrich the community by helping us produ produce productive members of our community and it's something that we look to and we appreciate each and every year at this point in time 178 years that's something that we are going to be missing um, your expertise and your background so thank you again for what you've done for the school district for the students for your co-workers and for the community thank you Thank you, Cheryl. It's always a, such a challenging time as our retirees here today know. I've noticed already this afternoon, several people have stopped in and already have uh, needed to, um, to leave as well. So we, again, thank you for everybody who has been able to attend today. At this time, I will be calling upon uh, principals, supervisors, people that our retirees have been uh, working with for some time or have come to know and, and uh, I'll be asking them to come up um, to say a few words to introduce uh, the, our honored guests. Uh, and as that principal or supervisor concludes their remarks, he or she will invite their retiree up and be able to take the microphone and offer any comments that um, you would like to share. Introduce any special guests that you have that have come with you today. And then also at the same time, we'll be presenting you with their certificate on behalf of the school district. So with that, uh, we're going to go, we're going to start with Mr. Bob Baer from the high school. Thanks, Dale. And I will introduce myself, Bob Bear, um, Holman High School building principal. Um, before I get on to Pete, though, I'm going to digress a little bit and tell a story. Uh, this is my 32nd year in the district, and I graduated from Gay Electric Trumplow High School in 1976. And my part-time job was in a full-service gas station where we actually put gas in people's cars for them and 
you drove across the hose and the bell rang and you ran out there. Where there's a, <coughs> a young lady in this room that used to stop in periodically and I would put gas on her car, change her oil. She drove a big old blue Pontiac Bonneville, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and that would be Lois Johnson. <laughs> so I, once in a while I think, man, I hope I was nice enough to her. So when I did apply for the job when Trig was building principal, it helped. So congratulations, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> it was. As a matter of fact, I washed it a couple of times. It took me about two days to get it completely done. <laughs> um, but no, now to talk about Pete Chichek. Pete's been at the high school for 28 years as our science teacher, and I'm going to blame my present job on Pete because <clears throat> about two years after he started, he said, Bob, you have a, a degree? I said, yeah, I have a degree. No, a master's degree? No. Are you going to go back to school? No. I don't want to go back to school. So he talked me into going back to school, and um, it ended up being an administration with really no, no reason whatsoever for administration except getting a, a degree. And um, so this is where I ended up, and, and I want to say thanks to Pete for talking me to go, go back to school. But uh, <clears throat> Pete and I talk quite a bit. He loves to hunt, loves to fish. I'm going to miss his um, information in the morning because a lot of times he'd stop by in the morning and... I'd be in my office having a cup of coffee. He'd give me an update on fishing, hunting, and so on. So I will miss, miss that. So congratulations, Pete. I also want to say congratulations to Mary, who is also retiring from GET High School as um, their guidance counselor. How many years, Mary? 28. <coughs> Mary had my three children as um, their guidance counselor, and my three kids all turned out great, and it's probably thanks to <laughs> Mary and my wife, Vicki. So, Pete and Mary, congratulations, and good luck with retirement. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. Um, I know I'll miss someone, but Trig and Karen Matheson are here, and Trig was involved in hiring me, and um, thank you so much for being here today. Um, home is just a great place to live and work. Uh, it's a great community. I can't say enough about it. And I'm very, very appreciative of having worked here and having had a chance to meet all of you. So again, thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> thank you, Mary, for being here. As <clears throat> She's been uh, uh, just great all these years, um, a lot of support, and we're just really very happy to both be retiring. So again, thanks. Well, I have the opportunity to just make a few comments about um, that young person, I think, that Bob already had alluded to uh, earlier. And um, Lois Johnson, I mentioned earlier, 38 years in the school district. I think you trained three superintendents <laughs> over those years. And, um, I, th you know, as I continue to reflect on Lois and uh, what she has meant to the district for all these years. Uh, you think of people that district-wide, who do people think of or who are people um, comfortable with of going to, whether it's for uh, direction or um, responding to a question. And it didn't take me long coming to the district to know that um, for most employees in the district, people knew Lois. And not only that, but people were comfortable going to Lois. And for that, again, that, that needed help at times. And um, personally, coming to the district, talk about helping me really learning about the district. We've, we've joked at times about how Lois is the historian but it's true. It's also true. And for someone who wasn't familiar with the district coming in, 
and being able to work so close with her, it was invaluable to me. As I think of um, Lois and the things that, that mean so much to so many, uh, her patience, her calmness, um, her true caring for people, when I would try to, when I would confide in her questions or decisions or things that I perhaps were struggling with, very quickly she would come back to, well, what does it mean to our kids in the district? And um, it was a constant reminder of that. And so um, there's so much more that could be said. We had an opportunity earlier this fall to celebrate Lois had a wonderful reception as well. And so many people turned out for that. And um, that was really a tribute to her and the difference that she has made in so many people's lives. So Lois, again, thank you. It's good to see you back. I know that you've had some wonderful months since leaving. And it's so well deserved uh, for what you gave all of us. Um, it's nice to know that now you're being able to refocus some of that time on yourself and those around you and really uh, celebrate uh, the time that you've given us. And uh, now it's time to continue celebrating you. So congratulations. So come on up. Thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the time has really flown since November. But I feel really comfortable coming back in here today. <laughs> Felt good. But I'm not looking for work. <laughs> but I do thank the Holman School District and the community. As I said before, I thoroughly have enjoyed my career here in Holman and all of the friends and people that I've worked with. It's been really good. I'm glad I could retire on a happy note and be happy with everything. <laughs> Life is good. We went to Texas and Arizona this winter for a month or so and have visited my father in the nursing home many times. I'm glad I've had that opportunity. My children in Holman and Toma, and grandkids. And it's just good. I still wake up at 5.30 every morning but I know I don't have to get up and do anything, but it's, I recommend it to everybody. <laughs> Pete and Mary, I know you're really gonna like it. <laughs> um, Mary grew up just down the road from me in Hickston, Seclavelt, in fact. Yep, she went to school with my brother. It's just amazing what a small world it is. And as we retire and get out to talk to more people, the world, there's so many connections. It's so much fun. But thank you all for coming and doing this again today. Retirements are great. At this time, I am going to call on Dr. Patricia. Ch <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Choked up there. Dr. Tronstad, okay. Prairie View. Welcome. All right. Thank you. And I am going to um, talk about uh, Mrs. Wachter, Judy. Now, um, Whenever we have like some special <coughs> event at our school or some special happening, Judy is the one that does all the poems and writes some special memorable thing. Now, I'm not very creative. I, I did my very best. And I'll tell you, I walked away yesterday and I, I told Kathy, the secretary, I said, this is hard. And I said, and, and uh, to put into words everything that you need to say. And uh, I said, I came away and I said, I've got a headache from this, but I, I, again, did my best I, that I could here tonight. I hope that uh, you agree. Now, Mrs. Judy Wachter, the journey to retirement is oh so long. A person must be so very, very strong to work with students and their IEP goals. 
day after day after day, oh, can surely take its toll, but not on Judy. She is always a kind and gentle, wonderful soul who stays positive and patient no matter what the role. As a supervisor at recess, lunch, and breakfast, oh, nope, as a supervisor at recess, breakfast, and lunch, students rely on her to help when they're in a crunch. Whether reading, writing, or mathematics, Judy is encouraging with compliments that come automatic. When students learn the Common Core, she's the first to celebrate their accomplishments once more. Patience and consistency are two of her gifts. The children always know where Mrs. Wachter fits. Her sense of humor and talents galore, she's always willing to give so much more. We say goodbye and we wish you well. And we're gonna miss you at the ringing of the next year's first bell. I gave, <laughs> I gave you a copy of it, like you always do. Give us a copy. Thank you. And when I got my doctorates, I, I got that or one from you, so I, and I treasure that. Some of you may not know, but one other thing I wanted to say is Judy, she started over at Evergreen and then came uh, to Prairie View, but she did take a, a year's leave of absence where then she was uh, a hospice nurse for, a hospice worker for a year. Um, and so it was a real special, special person. I mean, you do a lot of great things. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, you really are very good at this. <laughs> Thank you. I will. I will treasure this always. Um, my husband, Merrill, is with me today. Um, we will celebrate 35 years, to get wonderful years together this summer. Um, we have three children and four grandchildren, one more on the way, that we intend to visit very frequently um, and enjoy hopefully many, many years of retirement. It has been a pleasure to work in the school district of Holman. Um, I've worked in, in uh, several other school districts, and this one has um, such professional people who blend that uh, professionalism with a, a, a strong humanity and a love for children. And um, above all, I think that is what I have treasured the most here, is that the, the child has always been um, the focus in, in the teaching of, of children here, and I will I will always remember that. And I thank you very much for this reception. Um, and I won't say goodbye, I'll just say, see you. Okay. <laughs> One of the reasons uh, we changed out of alphabetical order is uh, for Roger Saxon and hoping that with the time, uh, I know that some of our drivers um, hope to be here, uh, hope to stop in so they may come in a little later. So, um, but I would at this time invite Jay Clark to come on up and make a few comments in honor of Roger Saxton. So um, I was looking over, if you get a chance to read Rogers, that, that's quite a job description. I was thinking to myself, where do you apply for that? Um, spending your time sleeping in in mornings and uh, spending time with your grandchildren and attending sporting events and fishing and golfing all summer long. Sounds like a pretty good gig to me. I'll be taxed. Yeah. So um, as to not go on too long, I've prepared some words here that I'll share. So no words I could offer will fully describe 
the positive influence Rogers had on this community. And I say community beyond just our school community. Uh, while my words may be inadequate, Roger deserves uh, the best that I can do. So Rogers provided us dedicated service for 15 years. While you know that I mention it because in today's society, 15 years of service in any position is a bit of an exception. And I'd point out that 15 years in a leadership position is even more exceptional. And his service, Roger's service, exemplifies an uncommon dedication and commitment. In fact, Roger's length of service is even more exceptional when one considers that in the six years prior to Roger's arrival, the Home and Transportation Department experienced eight different supervisors. And so then we land on one who's here for 15 years. Dedication and commitment. Perhaps it goes out when, without saying, when Roger came to us, he was taking on a challenge. Beyond stability, Rogers helped our district advance to a level of professional service. We heard reference to that, the level of professionalism in this district, and I think Rogers raised that bar in our transportation program. Service that focused on what's best for students and families in our home and community. Roger was also a key player in the development of our vision statement. Roger reminds candidates and others in the district of this vision statement on a regular basis, customer service of the highest quality and value. Roger helped everyone uh, towards this standard, but he held himself to this standard more than anyone else. Roger introduced new practices and innovations in our pupil transportation program. Some of those are listed uh, in the program that you have received tonight. Um, innovation was not always easy. As most of you know, it always involves some degree of change, um, but Roger was steadfast in doing what's best for kids. Because Roger's commitment and vision, today we're enjoying a transportation program that's safer, more nurturing, and more effective than at any time in the past. As with all leaders, Rogers uh, put in place facilities, systems, and processes that will allow his legacy to continue into the future. Roger changed our culture for the better. So thank you to Roger. Thank you for your dedication, for your vision, for making us better, and for being a leader. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate the other retirees. And I uh, appreciate the encouragement I've had from people like Lois that retirement is great. We should all go that way. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to it immensely. Uh, I have to make a few comments, and I will at another time. Uh, there almost was nine transportation supervisors in that time period, but a former ad administrator convinced me to stay. And uh, I remind him of it often that once, you know, once they convinced me to stay, they couldn't get rid of me. So uh, it's been a very enjoyable time. I've appreciated uh, getting to know people in Wisconsin, being introduced to Wisconsin culture, because you know I'm a foreigner by birth. And uh, I've enjoyed visiting many locations, particularly with Mr. Bear uh, and some other colleagues that uh, we've been able to travel to various athletic events. I've also appreciated the staff that I've been able to work with. Uh, we've had excellent people uh, come into our program, not only as drivers, uh, but in other positions where we needed support. And I do want to thank Mr. Clark, uh, who hired me, even though I scored zero in one of his tests. <laughs> and uh, uh, the support that the school board uh, has given me over the years. And we are proud of the transportation service in Holman. Uh, So I challenge you, school board, keep it going the right way. And I challenge the administration. It's pretty good. Thank you.
one thing about Roger, I soon found out he's probably one of the few people talking about his Minnesota roots that uh, knew where Donnell, Minnesota was. And so, anyway, it goes back to some of my early family years as well. Well, I tell you, uh, that is uh, what we have planned as far as recognizing our four retirees that were able to be with us today. Congratulations to our retirees and thank you again. I would invite all of you to, uh, to stay, remain. This, does, this is just part of the reception today. This does not mean that uh, we need to rush off. So this is just part of the reception. Stay as long as you want because I know what's also very meaningful is just this informal time just to have some conversation. So, so welcome you to uh, stay as long as you want. Thank you again, everyone.